Uh, but what I really wanted to show you was the five minute chart. Just scroll right on down to the five minute chart if you can't see it. Look here, we've gotten the break of the L7. Right, we got the retest and the big move. But this next touch on the L1 will be the first touch of the L1, which is the green line here. Um, since the L1 crossed this L7. So that first touch often is very strong. This five minute entry could look real promising. Here it is right here. And again, when I when I said earlier about the five minute L7, the L1 crossing the L7, that the next touch on that five minute would be good. That was a that was a prediction of of that. I mean the, the grids told me that. So I was like, the five minute entry would be good, and sure, and sure enough, had uh, I got in at a certain time, we we would have made some some bank on there. I, however, I took cable, which made a similar move, and we got a lot of that move. But um, that was a classic sign of what was to come. Well, earlier, Muhammad, if you look at the euro dollar five minute chart, I was saying that uh, when the L1, the green line, had crossed through the L7, the black line that and this had now made a higher high this was starting to come down um, I said that when the price meets this green line it's gonna be a good buy signal because the first time the price meets the green line after a cross of the L7 is very reliable and so that's exactly what happened the price came met the L1 which is the first time it touched that green line since the cross of this black line right here and sure enough it jumped up over 30 pips. All right, that's an L1 cross of the L7. That's a very strong signal. And it doesn't just happen on five-minute charts. It happens on all time frames of charts.